Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this logic puzzle. As you can see, we have got these four empty boxes and now we are going to fill out these boxes such that if we add or subtract those numbers, we are supposed to get 13, 8, 6 and 8. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. I'm going to label these boxes. I'm going to label this one as an A and this one as a B and we know that A plus B is 8 and now let's focus on horizontally these number. So B plus this has got to be an A so it is equal to 8 as well. So we can see that A plus B is 8 vertically and likewise B plus A is equal to 8 horizontally as well. Let me go ahead and label this box as a C. And now let me show you super easy way to solve this puzzle. Let's focus on these identical numbers 8 and 8 over here as well. So we are going to ignore this horizontal and this vertical path. So therefore we are going to focus on these distinct numbers only. So therefore we will consider only this horizontal and vertical path as you can see. So let's go ahead and consider this horizontal path first. So that is going to give us A plus C equal to 13. Let me just write it down. A plus C equal to 13. And now let's consider this vertical path. That means C minus A equal to 6. Let me go ahead and write down. C minus A equal to 6. Six. So we ended up with two equations. Let me go ahead and add these two equations. As you can see, this positive A and negative A, this is gone. C plus C is going to give us 2C. And on the right hand side, this is 19. Let me just isolate C by dividing both sides by 2. So C turns out to be 9.5. Let me go ahead in this box, let's replace this C by 9.5, its value. And now let's go ahead and fill out this box. So this box has got to be value 3.5, so that this 3.5 plus 9.5, that is going to give us 13, isn't it? And since this box is also labeled as an A, so this has got to be a value 3.5 as well. Now let's go ahead and fill out this box so that if we add these two boxes, we're supposed to get 8. So we can see this has got to be 4.5. That is going to give us 8 horizontally. And if we go vertically, still we're going to get 8. So thus we have filled out our boxes with appropriate values. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.